Warning. Geraniol is mildly toxic and can irritate your skin, gloves, goggles, and lab coat are recommended, ethanol is highly flammable, the experiment should be performed in a well-ventilated area or in a fume hood. Geraniol belongs to a group of compounds known as terpenoids, which have a strong and generally pleasant odor, indeed, terpenoids are responsible for most of the existing natural fragrances, geraniol is found in many natural sources including, rose, lemon and geranium of course, due to its flowery odor it is mainly used, in perfume industry, in addition to this, geraniol is a well-known natural insect repellent, today, we will isolate geraniol out from a common insect repellent. Materials and Reagents Required 96% Ethanol Geraniol-based insect repellent In my case, I have found a solid insect repellent that contains 13% of geraniol by mass. First, the solid pills are grinned using a mortar and a pestle. In my case this is optional as this pellets are designed with a lot of tiny holes, which helps the geraniol to defuse during the extraction. Once the pills are mildly powderized the white solid can be placed in an Erlenmeyer flask in addition to a magnetic stirring bar. Then, the ethanol is slowly poured into the flask. Finally a reflux condenser is attached on top of the flask, this will keep a constant solvent level during the extraction. The system is then heated under constant stirring for about an hour and a half. After an hour and a half, the system is allowed to cool down and the solution is filtered to remove the solid residues left within the pills. The majority of the solvent can be recovered by terms of a simple distillation, however, I've decided to remove it entirely by flushing air through the solution. Once we have removed most of the solvent, we are left with a yellow oily liquid, that can be transferred into a vial where the remaining traces of solvent will be removed. In the meantime, I decided to carry out a second extraction using another 17 grams of pills, but this time without crushing them. At the end of the video we will compare both yields to evaluate whether it's worth to crush them or not. You can clearly see how the system starts to reflux after being heated for a while. Just as before the system is allowed to cool down and then it's filtered to remove the solid residue left behind. At the end, we have obtained 1.6 grams of geraniol with the first procedure and 1.3 grams with the second one, which represents a 70% and 60% yield respectively. Thanks for watching.